children were taken from the home. Okay, let's start from the beginning. We lived in Budapest, in a house that was specially for Jews. They called it the Yellow Star House. I was 16 there and very pretty. And I didn't want them to go out with him. One boy, so he was mad. And when they told the, the woman to come down for 16 to 43, I didn't go because I thought I'm not 16 yet. And he told them that in this apartment is another woman, girl's there. So I had to go down. That's, that's the way it started because I didn't go out with him. We had to go to a certain place in Budapest, a big like a football field. All the women from 16 to 42. So I had to go and my mother was 43, so she didn't have to go. So I went alone. So we were in this big football field from Budapest, all the women, and they took us walking 300 kilometers to a place in Austria and Hungarian border to work there. No food. Luckily, I had a good shoe. And we had to dig against the Russian tank. Big deal. We, we did a little bit of digging. They could come and go and whatever they wanted to do. And then when they decided that the Russians are coming. They took us to a train station and we went to Austria. We took us to Austria and there was a camp for women and they took us there and we had nothing and we were waiting doing nothing because the Russians were already coming and the Germans, they couldn't take us further down because they didn't have enough trucks and everything. So we were there sitting on a cement because there was nothing there for weeks and weeks and waiting for somebody to come to kill us or something. But nobody came to kill us. And then the Russians came after three months. It was in January 13. That's why it's my lucky number. And they opened the door for us. And we were, 90% of them had typhoid fever. We, and I had it too. 1,200 women. Altogether, 300 something came home. And one of my friends looked good because I didn't look good because I was skinny and ugly. And the Russians, they wanted to take her away, you know, to rape her. And they didn't because I don't know if we hide. So anyway, we went to an Austrian house. There was a room in upper floor. And once I heard somebody from downstairs, Hungarian, any Hungarian here? And we said, yes. And the man was downstairs. And he said, I go into Budapest. Tell me your name, I will go tell your family that you are alive. And we gave him our name, and you know what he went? He went to my mother. Yeah, finally we arrived in Budapest. And I still had the same dress on me, whatever they took me. But the dress is already was that long because I was lost all the weight. And we went home, and I was very lucky because my brother was home. My father was home. All my family was okay. Unbelievable. 